You still go. You think about it. Nine. He was gonna be breaking the smoke, but they see him. Avalanche immediately gets the BKB off. Will be okay. Now the tiny needs to run. They get the cogs. Move nine away from his team. And it's not easy to connect. So that's gonna be a BKB gone. Magnetize gone. Maybe. You can re-engage if you want to create some Medusa illusions there with the disruption. Not really doing all that much. And again, that is no a small stone victory. Gate, though. This is a hard fight. Okay, get a good one, he though. It's a Sabaru. Doss back. Seb. Doesn't look like he's gonna die, but the Terrorize is gonna be perfect. All to the four of them. They're all afraid and level up are gonna be destroyed. They're buying back on the tiny. Are you they? Know teammates needs help. Low skill. He has no mana. He turns around with the stone gaze and with the buyback of the tiny. This is just, might just be a fight they can win. They're not focusing down the Medusa that is just so close to death. Finally, 23 Savage gonna understand. They can finish off low skill just with the AoE attacks. Low skill forgot just how low he was. Dang. As they are gonna be bouncing him around. And that looks like a dead dragonite. One more hit. It's not enough. He's gonna be armlet toggling. Do they have the damage to finish him off? Nullify if he oh, does get another rampage. armlet toggle. He's just gonna kill them all and it is gonna be a rampage. Maybe even a double one for 23 Savage. And that is how he killed level up savagely. They are running back towards each other though. I bet about to break his smoke onto Cuckoo but barely avoids them. Akashi still being watched that top lane. Oh, the epicenter, the arena, it's all too much. They'll lose the SF and now Talon, they've come in, but is this really the fight you want without your SF around? They would at least look for Q. Q still knocked down, surely goes down eventually and does, but it's still a very hard fight for Talon. They'll try to move on to Arbit, but Arbit does take down Makoto beforehand and now bosku has gone. So is WS, so is Joe Cam, and it's a full team wipe. You really only did use the BKB of Cuckoo anyways. Maybe you lose the H here and you do. The wrap around them. WS coming in from the left side, ready to help out as Makoto getting a little bit far. Does get the Dream Core, but is still fine. They're moving in now. TA2000. Oh, he's just melting. Akashi with a triple kill. Jabs barely avoiding the torrent coming in from WS, but my goodness, Akashi. Descending arrows everywhere. Two buybacks committed. WS oh, another tidal yes. wave out, catching T the TA2000 by the fountain. TA2000 gonna be fine, but Carry is not, and Jabs is not either. Ooh, Both are down. Arbet, uh, he's. Oh, Akashi! He's just found it diving. Oh. Screw it, GG! <laughs> you try hard. Even still, we got the push coming in here from the mid. Azure Ray knocking on this tier 3 door. There is no cliff available as well here from Team what Zero to used? delay this. Just got to wait for their teammates to respawn. Wow. They will jump in from Beyond. Holy They're going to try and bring moly. down this Alchemist. It's good damage right now, but still not enough to actually finish him. Instead, Beyond, potentially the one in danger as the Alchemist turns around. A few more right clicks will need. He will fall. He has my back. 70 is here. Doing a couple of kicks, but they can't fully commit for this fight. Like you said, Beyond, fight back. Definitely Team Zero could go for it and take some sort of fight. The hook shot forwards from TZQ, but it oh, misses you completely. Does not land on towards anything. Finally, out comes the buyback, but they're going to be able to focus down on towards the side. But most support's dead. No buybacks on either of them right now. The Willow getting extremely low. Planet only surviving there by the Yule Scepter, but will die immediately as they fall oh. to the ground. But the Natus Prophet yes, stuck sir. in the shards, gone beyond. Die back from him. And this could very well be the game almost, as there is not what buyback to be seen here. And also, like, Yatoro, he has a 40% waveform cooldown talent. Like, at this stage, you want to start dropping your boots soon, so you're going to be very mobile. It's Liquid, they're going for a quick smoke. They are just sprinting in towards Lol here. Boxy makes the first move, and then snowballs backwards. Very nice. Yeah. And now it's Liquid's turn to try and poke and prod, bait some kind of reaction from Team Spirit. They'll move in with the Yules on the Naga. Try and find Miposki here, but Collapse has an RP. And that's Mickey's Lena caught up inside and dying quickly. Another Collapse has the second one, onto three more. The kisses are landing and Liquid are being shredded. 3-3 three, three for the standards ground, but Radan, he can just destroy them. The payload's too much to handle. The Morphling's too strong. Mickey, he's come back in this with a buyback to try and deal with Radan. Kills up Mira, but Lol is here. Protects the Morphling, another oh, time away back. The back. And Liquid, the dieback on the Lena. A disaster they oh. cannot allow to happen. But Radan, he's got this, and Champ Tocha, massive damage, blows up Mickey a second time, and 3-3 three, three in some serious trouble as well, an ultra kill for Radan, and Liquid looked down and out in game one. 
maybe it's going to be Gunner who walks a little too far up. That's, yeah. They're going to go for the play for this 28-minute Wisdom. They get on top of Copy. He's got the BKB, but there's so much damage coming in from the Luna. The boat comes through as well, doing some work. Star Spirit leashed up. Earth Splitter kind of connect as well. It does. The silence is there. Can they finish him off? Big Copy goes in. The huge Echo finds three. They grab a like everybody that they needed on the side of Shopify, the stun's gonna prevent the TP out from L Scream. And they will grab themselves another kill. If you win a fight somewhere on the map, the death timers are so long, you will make it here to take buildings. Okay, they're gonna drop the banner. Counter the fortify. Yuma pops a satanic to try and get back into this. Nullifier onto the visage. He's gonna have to pop the uh, stone form immediately. Yuma. With this banner, luckily, they'll be able to grab themselves a night opening the blink the hex. The stun isn't coming out. They get a nice disruption to save him, but the visage in a rough spot here. Can they find him? The refresher is out. The second arena is there. Gunner pops the cheese as well to try to heal himself up. Copy with a nice ult on the first, but he's got a second one oh, to rip. The whole side of Shopify goes down. Yopon's trying to hide into the fountain, but what an ult from the Queen of Pain. We'll pop the okay, like and shape shift. He's going to try and wrap around. He wants to find one of these supports first. But it's a little bit difficult to get that echo. Bring forward by the lion. They catch the Drow Ranger. The Drow stuns from the Morphling. Morphling putting in the pressure, but He's no! Fine. Drow survives. Pops BKB. She's going to attempt to TP line. out, but she will end up dead. In the meantime, go look at the back line. Malik putting in as much magic damage as humanly possible. They're able to kill off this Lycan. Squad X now getting stunned up by Lal and Matlin, but they're starting to run out of the damage without the Drow Ranger. Kiritich killing off Laurel, turning his attention towards Malik. Wants to save the life of his sniper. The adapter strike back onto Malik, forcing him to retreat to the north. He has to flee. I'm not so sure Miposhka is going to be as lucky. They track him with the assassinate. Antares is right on top of him, and he gets brought down by Kiritich. Find those walls. Or oh, was that actually the Clockworks gem? Because he did die, and it, it wouldn't surprise me if they bought a gem versus the Clinks. Uh, it's ZZQs. So as a thinker. Oh, okay, that's a jump. Okay. Wow. Jump forward. See what they can do right bold, now. Bold. But the immediate turnaround damage. Clockwork is a shredded piece. Although hand is in deep. Surrounded by three heroes, so here comes you. They've here got the, the roar on towards the click. See if they can burst him down before any sort of heals can come on through. He's sustaining for so damn long, they can't quite finish off, but eventually he does go down. Tinker as well getting extremely low. He will die. Nature's Prophet gets ran out by the Willow with the Bedlam. They're able to bring down the enemy carry at the very least. Don't They're you? still sustaining so many losses. Good tornado comes out from 70. Wow. They will be able to get the kill on towards the Beastmaster in response. Arrow not going to connect, but as set eventually. 70 fast dies surviving so damn long. Oh. PYW attempting to finish off hand. It's not going to work and it's a. I think the, the big issue is going to be Makoto though. Like Makoto's just had the, the best start he could have oh. asked for. And here we go. They're going to try and take him down. Refraction is gone. Silence is there. Makoto's still trying to run through the spout. Does make it for now. The lasso is out onto one. TA2000 is the target. Makoto's still alive. In fact, he's farming right now. Makoto's still being chased by creeps. But he's all right. Meanwhile, Jabs and Tharbet have both been lost as TA2000 now being targeted. A beautiful rebound from Cuckoo. TA2000 going down, a triple kill for WS. And they want more. They'll chase down the Squirrel and Q for a full team wipe if they can find him. Q though, juking, breaking some ankles, but not for long. An ultra kill. For WS. It's gonna be like more and more red. obvious because Top is pushing and Meposhka has a really nice position here. This is a secondary small from Liquid. It is. But Meposhka, like you say, right in position. Sees insane you coming. And now the massive scramble back to a high ground. Look for that terrain advantage. Meposhka collapsed. BKB's out of the glide there, but he's roared up. In comes Nisha, damage onto Lala's good. The hook shot, nice from Insania, catch and collapse, and Lala inside. But collapse has blade mail BKB. Still probably gonna take a lot of damage from this Mickey Wind Ranger. But now Mickey's lassoed up and disappears. Radan yet again, the Marana comes out of the woodwork, slays two of Team Liquid, and Nisha once more kind of left stranded here, trying to contend with Team Spirit's strength and prowess. Two down on Liquid. Nisha looks like he's about to drop here as well to Radan and Lol. The damage just keeps on coming, and Nisha, he's gonna fall. Miposhka with an overgrowth, clips onto two of them. And the clockwork, even inside his own cogs, tries to hold out, but dead to Radan. Yeah, that's a beyond godlike Potter who is never 
going to die, I think, at this point. He has to tank. This is a double buyback, at least. Laurel, hey, drop in.